In the summer of 2018, I experienced burnout. At the time, I had no idea what was going on with me. And I didn't really know what burnout is and what isn't. So in today's video, I want to bust some myths with you about what burnout definitely is not. So let's get started. Hi and welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Julia Arndt and I'm a peak performance coach and stress management trainer and I am so excited that you're here today. If you are a busy professional and you're looking for ways to reduce your stress, be more mindful and improve your productivity, then I'm really excited that you're here today and I hope that you also check out a couple of other videos on my YouTube channel because I help you to create a mindful lifestyle with sustained performance. So in today's video I want to talk with you about something that's super important for me and super close to my heart. I have been talking about my own burnout journey over the last couple of years and this is obviously something that I've built my business on. I became super passionate about the topic of burnout and mindfulness and productivity and all of these different things and how you can actually be a peak performer when it happened to myself because I had no idea what was going on with me at the time and I wish I would have had someone like me that would have helped me through that process. So if you can relate to that if, and you're wondering now, I wonder if I have burnout, then I highly encourage you to take the free burnout risk assessment. This is an assessment that I put together for you in order to help you create some awareness on where you're currently at. This is something that I actually had to do when I went through my own burnout journey and when I got a medical leave for three months in order to recover. So make sure to click the link below, go take the burnout risk assessment and know for sure where you are at with your burnout. So without further ado now, let's jump into the first misconception about burnout. And the first very important myth that I want to bust around burnout is that burnout is a sign of weakness. I always considered myself an extremely strong person and as we are strong people, we don't like to show weakness and burnout was definitely exactly that. But burnout wasn't a sign of weakness, it was a sign that I hadn't learned the right tools and the important tools that I needed in order to take care of myself. It was also a sign that I didn't have enough self-awareness to recognize the signals and signs that my body and mind were actually trying to give me. But it was not a weakness because up until to that point where I experienced burnout, I was an extremely strong person and I was also a very strong person acknowledging that I had burnout because it takes a lot of courage to say I need to take a break and I need to leave and I know so many people that are not doing that I know so many people that stay stuck in the cycle of burnout because they are afraid of what other people might think of them so burnout is not a sign of weakness it is in fact a sign of you being courageous to take your life into your own hands Another big misconception about burnout, that burnout is simply being tired and stressed. I wish it would be that, but then also at the same time, I wish it wouldn't because then every single person on this planet would experience burnout all of the time. But burnout is not just being tired and stressed. Burnout comes from prolonged, long periods of chronic stress. When you constantly have extremely high stress levels, and you don't know where your head is at anymore. You can't sleep anymore at night or you're waking up at night because you have a million thoughts on your mind. Maybe you are constantly super anxious or maybe you constantly feel super aggressive and you take everything super, super personally. Those are all really interesting insights that you might actually experience burnout. You might also feel like you don't really like your job anymore. You question everything, even though the job is 
what you've been working for for so many years now you think maybe i should just leave this company or i don't really care about this anymore and i don't want to talk to anyone anymore i just just want to do this thing and then get out of the office that could also be a sign of burnout. Burnout has a thousands, hundreds of thousands, probably different signs because for each individual, burnout shows up completely differently. But one thing that burnout is not is it's just being simply tired and stressed. It is something that's been developing for me personally and I know for other clients that I've been working with as well over a long period of time, probably three years, probably, honestly, my whole lifetime. Because over the course of my life, I learned a lot of unhealthy habits to cope with high stress. So I will talk a little bit more about that, but that is the second misconception. The third misconception that I want to share with you today is that burnout is solely caused by work. This is not true. If you are watching this video right now and you are, for example, a stay-at-home parent or you are a caretaker taking care of a sick family member, then you know that you can develop and feel burnout as well, which is again why it is super, super important that you are taking the burnout risk assessment and see where you're currently at. See how you feel. Yes, burnout is something that initially was coined through chronic stress at work, but it doesn't just develop through work. So it is really, really important to make that differentiation and to take care of yourself. The fourth misconception is burnout can be overcome with sheer willpower. I wish that would be true and I actually believe because I am in the field of working with peak performers and high achievers that we actually all have a pretty strong mind and we have a lot of willpower to overcome certain things but burnout is actually an illness, right? Burnout shows in physical and mental and spiritual ways and it requires a holistic approach in order to take care of it. Burnout is the result of building a lot of unhealthy habits and patterns over longer prolonged periods of time, probably your whole lifetime. And so in order to overcome burnout, you need to start creating new habits. And we all know that that takes some time. So just having sheer willpower to overcome burnout, I'm super sorry to disappoint you, but this is not the way on how you can overcome burnout. It actually requires a holistic approach and it requires a lot of willpower in a sense to actually make these changes in your life. Because if it would be that easy to overcome burnout, we would all just do it and we would probably not even have burnout in the first place anymore. Number five is one of my favorite misconceptions that I talk with clients about all the time and it is that burnout can be overcome by simply taking some time off or a vacation. No, because first of all, when you have high elevated stress levels all the time, then a one or two week vacation will not do the trick. You'll probably go on vacation and you're gonna have a really hard time to actually even disconnect from work because you're so overloaded with stress levels and stress hormones and it is really, really difficult to just shut it all down. And if you are just going on a vacation or you're taking time off or you're going on a medical leave like I did and you come back and you don't change anything in your life at all to what you have been doing before, you're not gonna cure your burnout either. Because again, your burnout is the result of building unhealthy habits and patterns. It's by making unhealthy decisions about your life, about how you work, about the people that you say yes and no to, about all of the work that you take on, about the breaks that you give yourself. There is a lot of things that are burnout and it is definitely not just taking a vacation or a, a leave in order to overcome it. You need to make some changes and you need to take action in order to actually bring them into your life. The sixth misconception is, is that burnout is the same as depression. This is a really important one and while there are some similarities between burnout and depression and you can also develop depression because of burnout, 
it is not the same and there are some significant differences between burnout and depression. So make sure that you inform yourself about the differences between burnout and depression and potentially seek the advice of a professional in order to get help. And the last misconception, another one of my favorites, is that only high achievers and workaholics can experience burnout. While I think that is a group of people that are probably more at risk to develop burnout, it is not the only group of people, as I already mentioned earlier, that can develop burnout. Caretakers, single parents, parents that are, work that are at home or that are working from home, there are so many different groups of people that can develop burnout for all different kinds of reasons that we shouldn't just reserve it to that specific group of people. So I hope you found this video helpful today and it gave you some insight into what burnout is and what burnout isn't. It is really important to inform yourself and to learn what burnout is because every single one of us can be affected by burnout. I always thought this will never happen to me. I didn't even really know what burnout was until I got it and I had it, right? And I had to work my way out of it by building new habits and routines. There's a lot of other resources on my YouTube channel on burnout. You can, for example, learn how to build new habits. You can also learn a little bit more about what are the early warning signs of burnout and how can you overcome it? What are the first steps that you actually need to take in order to tackle your burnout? Besides willpower, obviously, have other tools available to make sure that you're creating a more sustainable, better lifestyle for yourself. There is the burnout risk assessment available to you for free if you're curious to check where you're currently at with your burnout risk. Make sure you take it, the link is down below. And that's all I have for you today. If you have any questions for me, don't hesitate to leave me a comment down below and let me know what would you like to know? How can I help you? What are the challenges that you're currently experiencing? I am not a licensed professional. If you are struggling with burnout, make sure that you're seeing your primary care doctor or a therapist that can evaluate if you have burnout. And if you want that first step, if you want to have maybe more motivation to take that step, take the burnout risk assessment to see if the signs that you're currently experiencing are actually signs of burnout. That's all I wanted to share with you today. Thank you so, so much for watching my video and I hope to see you in the next one.